So John, BLCM, what does it actually update uh, for a vSAN cluster? So there's kind of two components here. Um, there's the the VLCM, you've got the, the basic uh, image baseline. So your standard ECI images, if you're used to them and know them and love them, you've got you know your generic vanilla you get from my.vmware, but then you'll have the server OEM specific ones. And that always included your vSphere version and then your drivers. Uh, but let's remember drivers are half a bridge. Um, the other half of that bridge to whatever that IO device, that NIC, uh, the storage controller, whatever that is, uh, that's also the firmware. And so there's the other half, and this is, uh, we've got the hardware, we partner with uh, some OEMs who've involved with us here, um, that they have these hardware managers that we can talk to. And we have a plugin that basically this way VLCM will reach out and deliver that. And what else we can deliver with that, this is the other half of that bridge. This is getting everything updated as it should be. So this is your firmware. This is your BIOS. Um, this is things like firmware on mid planes, all pretty much, you know, everything that you normally would have gone into an ILO or an IDRAC or a CIMC and had to patch or, or load that vendor specific ISO that would boot and then patch that device. Um, this lets you basically push that out too. And what's nice is pairing all this together is we can do this and try to tie this into a single life cycle cycle where before you might've had your hypervisor team managing one or whoever manages the hardware would manage the other. Uh, now we do this as one kind of seamless operation um, from this perspective of you, you attach these baselines, you push them and, and you go. And so the, the um, things like the, the firmware and the drivers, it's understanding of the respective vSphere and vSAN version that you're, that you're using, right? Yeah. So this is going to make sure that um, we're going to recommend if you're using vSAN, we're going to recommend those, those components that we have strong opinions about things like the HBAs uh, and the vSphere versions for that server chassis are updated. So yeah, that's, this is, that, that's great. One less thing for the customers to think about in that regard. Yeah, no. And, and to be fair, a lot of us, you know, would sometimes get kind of lazy and we would forget about the firmware, the BIOS. And basically we would just run, you know, firmware and BIOS that were from the Thatcher administration or some ancient time period. Uh, until we finally hit a bug and we're like, ah, oh, it's time to go patch that. But let's, we got to get out. We got to get out of that practice. The other thing also to remember is VLCM will catch drift. And so if you, uh, maybe you have everything up to date, but then a NIC fails and you go swap that NIC and that box has fallen from a, you know, a, a time portal from the 1974 somehow and has some, you know, some like, what is this firmware written in cobalt or something? Like what's going on here? Well, it's going to catch that. It's going to tell you, Hey, you've got this Nick and it's no longer on your baseline. You have drifted from the baseline. So that's another great thing of helping with that holistic life cycle view.